Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima and I'm here checking out Hashtag Kill All Zombies? I don't know how they expect you to pronounce that name, but there you go. So, this is another game by SPL, which I normally probably wouldn't have gotten if they didn't offer me review code for it. So I'm doing my due diligence and I'm taking a look at it here. And it's crap. Like, <laughs> I'm so disappointed because it's by, um... It's by Beat Shapers, and they did a couple of games. They did, um, Star Drone Extreme, which was a bit crap. And they did, um, what was that game called? Break Quest Extra Evolution. And that game was actually good. So to see them put out what's basically another stinker kind of disappoints me. We'll go have a quick look around. There's online leaderboards, obviously. The English in this game isn't great. The, um, for some reason when I unlocked the flare gun, the game told me I unlocked the rocket launcher. I'm not entirely sure what the point of that was. And it, yeah, as you can see, there's, um, global high scores with the two modes. I won't bother playing the vault defense mode because the vault defense mode feels like it's unwinnable. Like, even in the first, like, minutes. Because you have a base and you have to defend it from zombies. But the problem is you can't run around the base fast enough to shoot all the guys. And there's zombies coming in from every direction. They do let you buy turrets, but the turrets are useless. So yeah, uh, it's just, it's, it's a shit mode. Absolute shit. We won't be playing it. You've got stats, and it'll tell you, it'll tell you things, basically. Including how many times you've used each perk. There's a fair few. There's a problem with the perks, though. They're mostly useless, and we'll get into that shortly. You can turn off the music or the sound effects. I'd recommend turning off the music, because this sounds like some generic pop song. I don't even know where they got it from, and the music changes once you get into the game. It tells you what wave you survived up to on the top right there. So, we'll just play survival. As you go on, you unlock different weapons. And, well, to be fair, some of these are much better than others. The pistol is a piss weak. It takes like two shots to kill anything, and it's crap. The snub nose goes through multiple zombies, but there are some things that it just can't kill in one shot. The shotgun only gets two shots, so it's useless. The Uzi is pretty good. So is the M16. They're pretty fast firing, have decent clips and all that. The top left is the flare gun, which is also alright, and the top right is the, uh, they call it the crossbow in-game, which is weird, because it's not a crossbow, it's like a six-way spread alien gun, and it's crap. So we'll just go with the M16, there's no point going with anything else, because they're just shittier versions of the guns that come before them, so... Away we go. It's a twin stick. It's a very basic twin stick. You aim and you shoot with the right stick. There's no button that you have to hold down for firing, so you just fire away. Instead, you can do a manual reload with the R button, if you feel the need. And you can also press L to do a melee attack. The problem with the melee attack is that it stops you in your tracks. And you can't actually do the melee attack until you stop moving. So, there's basically zero point to it. You, of course, have a health bar, and if they get too close and they hit you you will lose health and you will eventually die. You can see in the top left that I've got an XP bar that goes up the more points I get. And I've also got in the top right a best time and a time that tells you how long you survived for. And the gold trophy for this game is survive for 60 minutes and fuck that. But let's go into how the perks work. So most of them are timed, some aren't. And they let you change what weapons you have, what can ha um, things that can happen like what kind of bullets that you have equipped on your gun. They can give you more health, they can give you less health, they can kill you instantly and give you basically nothing for it. Yeah, the perks in this game are a bit weird. They, Some of them are literally useless. Like, there are some that will literally instantly kill you. So, I, yeah, see, so like, earn 500,000 XP, aka points, but as you can see, my high score is 4.5 million. So it's like, what's the point? Unless you literally want to end the game early, there's zero point to this. This is the M60. It is basically just a slow firing M16, but it's got a decent sized clip in it. Downside being, it takes a bloody age to reload, so, you know, that's a bit of a pain in the ass. I won't get the snub nose until I absolutely need to. Apparently, I've got another perk on me. Yeah, rather than losing health from attacks, you have a 10% chance of dying whenever you get attacked. That sounds useless. Thankfully, there's a much more useful perk there, which um, protects me from hits 50% of the time, which is... Much nicer than pretty much everything else there. Most of the perks there are completely useless. It's just, I, I legitimately don't understand why they thought half of these perks would, would be any good whatsoever. It feels like they just put them in to be filler. One of the main advertisement points of this game is that it's got over 100 perks. But there's no point in having over 100 perks 
if most of them are completely and utterly useless and you never actually want to use them. So, uh, random bullet type, why not? What did I get? Dodge this. I'm not entirely sure what the effect of that is because I've never actually seen that perk in action before. It is a perk, yes. That is just something that it does. Now, you may have noticed that the field changes underneath you. There are perks that can influence this. Like, there are boxes, or more like shipping crates, more than anything else, that come up from the ground that you can shoot to get things out of them, like health pickups or different weapons. Or those little green things that kind of look like radiation symbols, but they're not. They're like green triforces from The Legend of Zelda. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what the deal is there. And when you, um, when you pick them up, like, when you pick them up, it seems t entirely random. Like, one time that I picked, it, picked them up, I got, like, a new level. Like, I leveled up every single time I picked one up. And then there are times when you literally get nothing from it. I legitimately don't know what they're there for. What perks have I got? Nuke em zombies. So, literally, just spend a level to nuke everything on the screen. Trade two thir 30 health for the death of every zombie. So, it's literally the perk on the right, except it's even more useless. Hexes are down to provide better protection, and hexes are raised to protect you. So, yeah. So, you can see how some of the... Yeah, 50-50 chance of dying or gaining 100,000 XP. Everyone, including the player, dies. What's the point? Burning Phoenix. The player will explode upon death, but instantly be revived. That's much more useful. I... I some of these perks just don't make any sense whatsoever. And I'm willing to bet one of the trophies is get every perk at least once. So... Unless you want to literally end your game early for no other reason than just to be slightly amused at the fact that that exists in the game to basically kill you outright. I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of it is. It just seems entirely against the point. Random perk. XP boost. Uh, um, XP boost. Why not? And what else have I got? Your next shot will become a huge rainbow plasma shot that kills everything. Regenerating health. You can pass through zombies. Operator, so what do you need? Except a miracle. Guns, lots of guns, but you will die. So it's literally just you die, but you can pick every weapon from the start. Which is, you know, I mean, considering that I've unlocked the absolute majority of the weapons uh, at the 20 minute mark, you never need to use that. It's, it's seriously insane just how useless it is. But yeah, anyway, as I was saying previously, the terrain can move under you and you can get all these things that come up. Like, you've got these little things here that disappeared into the floor. And you can get these crates that drop in that you can blow up to get stuff from them. And you've got traps that can spawn and guns that can spawn and the hexes can literally come up and down to modify the map under you. The annoying thing about this is that if you stand on a hex that starts moving when you can't see it because... You get some alerts that some things are coming down, but when the actual hexes start moving, you won't get a visible alert for it. They'll just start moving. And if you stand on a hex that starts moving, you will die. This has happened to me more than once. So I'm not going to claim it was just a fluke, because if it happens more than once, it's definitely a problem with the game itself. Um, you know, 20% more ammo. Might as well. So yeah, the hex movement system is just a bit of a pain in the ass. Now, I'd like to talk about something else. This game came out on PC uh, a couple of months ago. I can't give you an exact date because I don't remember it off the top of my head. I just remember looking at the Steam page and the Steam screenshots for this. So this is how I know that this is a thing. But they've changed the camera angle. The ch camera angle in the PC port is really weird. Because it's like this 45 degree isometric style camera angle. And this version of the game here seems to have modified it to be a top down angle. And... It's weird, I'm not entirely sure why they did that, but not only did they turn the camera angle to a top-down angle, they've also zoomed it in really far, and you can see, like, on the Steam screenshots, I'll pop one up on the screen right now just so you can see what I'm talking about. On the Steam screenshots, it's got such a wide range that it's much easier to see everything around you, and that's actually kind of important in this game, because you can literally go wandering into something that will most likely kill you. Edge reload, speed up the process of re reloading your gun by repeat, re repeatedly pressing the R button. That's the thing though. You can actually hold the analog stick in any direction that counts as pressing the reload button. Don't ask me why it does, that's just how it works. So with the camera being so zoomed in and all that, you can't see where anything is. So if like a health crate comes down and you really need to get a health crate you won't be able to see it. If hexes start rising just behind you so that you end up getting back into a corner, you won't see it. 
and there's no nothing like a mini map or anything like that and you of course since there's nothing in the options menu you can change the camera angle or the camera zoom it just means that you can't see where you're going for the most part and that is the most frustrating thing of all because again you can get swarmed by zombies really fast in this game and it just it just gets frustrating walking straight into a pile of like 50 something zombies uh the player can shoot faster than usual why not most of these perks are timed so it's like you might as well get the ones that will give you those good boosts early on and it's yeah, it, it just seems kind of obvious, really. So, can I rag on this game literally anymore? Well, I can, actually. Most of the weapons suck. Like, it is actually kind of hard to aim them. It reminds me of um, Alien Shooter, except not as bad. But considering they don't give you a laser sight or anything, you can't really tell where you're shooting. Hell, I mean, if I, if I shoot straight down with this gun, my boards literally go off screen. And I'm not entirely sure what the deal is with that. All the guns basically suck though, they all feel like lightweight things. The only gun that really feels like a realistic gun is the, um, the rocket launcher slash flare gun. I'm not entirely sure what the point is with that. And that gun feels great because it's got a really nice sound effect and all that, but this is an M16. The M16 should be sounding a lot better than this. Also, it should be firing a fair bit faster than this, but I, 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 well, I might as well try the Uzi out. See, it's about the same thing really, nothing. Nothing to write home about. Um, reload your gun in super quick time. So, yep. Basically, I just... I reload faster than I can actually empty the magazine. So that's kind of nice. There's shit everywhere. And that's kind of annoying, honestly. Uh, I won't bother showing off the pistol. I was hoping for something a little bit more interesting. Like the... Um, like the gun that's basically just a super bomb gun. Yep, almost walked directly into that hex pit, which would have killed me. Uh, you can't walk into those hex pits after they've spawned. But if you're on top of them and they start dropping, you're dead. That's basically it. So yeah, the game's wave system works on a time limit. So you have to wait. And if you've killed all the zombies around a specific area, it'll be like, nope, you just have to wait for the wave to count down. Even if there's only like one or two zombies left. And I can't even see if there's any left, so nothing for me to go kill basically more health don't need it uh triforce which gave me more than it did at the very beginning of this run like i legitimately don't understand what the deal is there i have no idea what that is See? I I was on top of that hex as soon as it started going down and I was dead. Like, I literally didn't get any warning and it just happened. So, yeah. Fuck that noise. In every sense of the words, fuck that noise. I guess I can complain about some other things as well that this game doesn't do. Like, so... Did anyone play Crimson Land, the 10 tons remake of the old PC shooter? Man, that game was great. Like, piano. Random piano that exploded for some reason. Oh, hey, here's the boss. Hey, it actually spawned in this time. I've only gone to this guy twice. The first time he killed me in one shot. The second time he didn't even bother to spawn. Might as well show off the flare gun. Also, yes, the game just went completely silent. I have no idea why it decided to do that, but there you go. I don't even know where he is. I can't see him. I don't want to get too close because he's like instant kill. And yeah, as you can see, I can't see him. I can't fucking see him. And I'm, I'm dead. I legitimately don't know what killed me. That is, that's bullshit. That, that is the biggest kind of bullshit imaginable. Alright, just for the purpose of demonstration, I'll show off Vault Defense. But there's not really that much else to it. Um, thankfully, I've got a fair few more weapons to pick from this time. So I might actually pick the Flare Gun. And down I go. And it spawns in this. And you can press Square to put these turrets down. It also says you can press Circle 
to swap. But what in particular that I'm swapping, I legitimately don't have any idea. So yeah, flare gun again. But yeah, as you can see, if a zombie gets through on the left, I'm not going to be able to see them if I'm focusing on the right. And I've got turrets, but they're really fucking slow. Uh, what's the random weapon going to give me? Just the M16 again. Alright. Oh no, it's the M60. Okay. Yeah, this is the M60. It's basically the M16, but it has a lot more bullets in it in exchange for reloading really slowly. As you can see. Alright, and I get to level up again. Uh, reload my gun in super quick time. That's great. Alright. So yeah, now I've basically just become deaf. Like, it it, this whole perk system really does feel like just good luck. Because if you have good luck... Oh. Apparently I was able to buy the turret and then immediately sell it. I'm not sure what happened there, but it happened. As you can see, you don't have any health because the zombies don't focus on you in this mode. It's all on the... It's all on the base. And it's a bit shit. All your turrets are equipped with M16 for a limited time, but... It's not like this is going to help me much, especially on the parts that I can't see. The game's five bucks. Came out... Uh, well, by the time you'll be seeing this, it'll be yesterday, so... Yeah, it's not really worth that. If you want a good, like, twin-stick shooter that's focused on the huge amount of enemies that are... Not so much zombie, but zombie-like. Go buy Crimson Land. If you just want something that's a visual spectacle, go buy Earth Defense Force. It's around the same thing. No perks or anything like that, but it's got a... Did regenerating health seriously just drain the health of my base? What the fuck? Um, there's also the game's performance. It can drop and slow to a crawl at times too, and it's not really that pleasant. So, yeah. This game is crap. It is, like, I cannot find a single thing that I like about it. They've screwed it up in pretty much every way possible, and yeah, don't, don't buy it. Stay away. Stay far away. This has been Blue Maxima, and I'll see you all next time.